trying to see is as a child in her formative years, she should prioritize her education. It is imperative that she does that. She's already missed two terms. And I don't know if you're concerned, but as a father, I'm concerned. And, and that's why I'm asking that she, she come stays with me. She will attend the school my other children attend. And with me, she will not just be getting education, she will be getting quality education. That's all I'm saying, please. Mom, I don't want to go with him. Why? You would love the company of your sisters and trust me, you will never, ever be bored. Chidera, please. No, Mom. I'd rather lavish here with you. Because where has he been all my life? Where? He left me for a rich man's daughter. There. What your mother said is true. And I admit it. Is a mistake I made, or one I am not proud of. But I'm here now. I'm I'm trying. I'm trying to make amends. Just give me a chance. That's all I'm asking. But you can't force her to go with you. You can't. I'm not trying to force her. Everything I'm proposing is for her own good. And so I'm pleading and asking you to let me take her, please. Please, dear. Well, you can't call me dad in this house, you call me uncle. I don't want my wife to know that you're my daughter. At least not yet. I knew it. I knew all this was just a waste of my time. At the end of the day, I could still sue your mom and I would get custody of you. You know that, right? You do realize that the court is not your family house, right? For starters, she's incapacitated. She doesn't have a job and she is in no way capable to take care of a child. I am not a child. Don't you dare talk to me in that tone again. Look, all I'm trying to say is I'm doing all of this for your own good and all I need you to do is to trust me. Okay? You trust me. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Oh, hi. How are you? <clears throat> Have you done your homework? Yes, Dad. How about you? Yeah. Good girl. Uh, this is my niece, Dara. Dara, these are my beautiful daughters. This is Dim and that is Riley. Hi, niece. Hello, thank you. She looks so unkept. I can't deal with that. Riley? You can go to your rooms. We are going to be going to our rooms now. Exactly. <laughs> Bye, God. Bye. Well, I'm sorry about that. Riley can sometimes be cheesy. I see. Your children are very rude. Ah, that's not a nice thing to say about your nieces. Hey, baby. Honey. Hello. Yes, I am. How are you? Good. 
<clears throat> Good day, Ma. Good day. Wait, is this the mate? Oh, no, the mate? No, this is my niece. The one I told you about. Oh, your niece? Yes. And she's seated. <laughs> I mean, she should be standing. Stand up. Yes, sir. Uh, so, she's very welcome to stay, you know, as long as she helps around the house. You know, things that maids do. Uh, she can make herself very useful around the house because there's no way I'm going to be letting any of your poor family members live with me for free without helping me or the girls. I, I will do anything, ma'am. It's not like I was asking. I was telling you. People, I'm sure you must be very famished. We are going to be making you a very sumptuous thing. Pick up your bags and let's go make dinner. Pick up your bags. That way. Okay, baby. See you around and thank you so much for the name. Your duty here is to make sure that everywhere is always tidy and clean. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. I want you to make spaghetti bolognese. Do you know what that is? I do, ma'am. You? You know what it is? Have you eaten something that nice before? Anyways, if you waste my ingredients, since you said you know what it is, if you waste it, I will deal with you. I'll cut off your head. Let me bring the ingredients for you. Stay here, let me bring it out for you. Hello, my love. How are you settling in? I am settled already. Wow, so fast. Are your sisters liking you already? Yes, they are very happy because they now have a new maid. What? I... I don't understand. Huh. Mom, do you know that he introduced me as his niece to them? Automatically turned me into their maid. <sighs> no way. No way. I don't mind. I will just do whatever I need to do. As long as I get to go to school. Um, Mom, I'll call you back. I need to finish up cleaning the kitchen. I'm not left-handed, that's all. You pick your corner. 
It's work. And I've told those stupid girls, whenever there's a problem, call me during work hours. You can't be calling me at this time. But you know you're the head of customer care in your company. It might be an emergency or something. Okay. So just take the call. Hello. Oh, that. Uh, it's in the car. Let me get it. I'll call you back. Babe, I need to go downstairs and get something from the car. Mm, okay. We'll finish all of this. I'll try not to. Mm. That's not true, okay? I'm, I'm in a huge situation here. And Chidera needs to help me out. Even you, Amaka, you need to help me out. How, Daniel? How? Look, it's very complicated, okay? But I will find time to come sit down with you and we'll talk about it. I will explain everything, all right? But please, I beg you, in the meantime, it is not right for you to be calling me and crying and all that, you know? You know, I, I don't want my wife to suspect anything. I don't want to raise an eyebrow, okay? I should have, I should have listened to her. I shouldn't have allowed her to follow you. I should have listened when she told me that she didn't want to go with you. Now just look at what you have told my daughter into. Maka, don't sound like that, okay? Chidera will be fine. Trust me, okay? Trust me. Daniel. I know this is your house, but next time, knock. I'm sorry. Now, Chidera, listen to me. No, you listen to me, Dad. Call me that. Yeah. Then I should be the one talking. You claim to be my biological father. If you were, then you wouldn't let me go through all this. When did I get here? At exactly 12 noon. And look at the time I get to unpack. 11 p.m. And let me guess what? I'm supposed to be your biological daughter. Chidera, I, I understand your frustration, okay? But please, don't yell again. All right. Now, whatever happens between the both of us should stay between the both of us, okay? So if I die, it will stay between you and who? I'm doing all this for your own good. With time, you will get to understand. Good night. I've been meaning to ask. That Which girl you brought into our house, the maid, what are your plans for her? First of all, she's not a maid. She's my niece. My niece. Anything you call her, what plans do you have for her? And I'm just saying refer to her properly. Well, <clears throat> I intend to put her in school. At the same school as Riley and Dean. 
I didn't hear you. You intend to put her in school. The yes. same school Riley and Dean goes to. Of course. I don't see a problem with that. I don't understand. We paid two million naira for them. Of course, and I know, don't I know? We can pay that for her too. Pay that for who? For a maid? Miss. <laughs> You're not serious. It, what do you intend to get this money from? Well, all we have to do is cut out our excesses. There are a lot of things we buy in this house that we barely even use. Okay, so we cut out most of those things and boom, that is it. The money is there, we pay. <laughs> when you went downstairs to get that thing from your car, did you drink something or maybe smoke something? You know what, don't, don't even answer, just sleep. I'm sure when you sleep, your brain will open up so you can think properly. Because there is no way on earth I am going to inconvenience myself for another person's child. All I'm asking you to do is just be humane, that's all. I don't understand. Are you, are you her father? Did I ask her father to impregnate her mother? Why would I take responsibility for another person's child? You cannot be serious. You're just joking. Stop eating this thing, sleep. So that your brain can open up, you can think properly. I got skeletons in my closet Running from my past and now they're closing in on me Everything beautiful I wasted Wasted, wasted I brought you heartbreak, I can feel pain I let my lips in the bigger chain Trying to run back, it's not the same What is it? Why are you crying? <laughs> Daniel was here. <laughs> that goat. What was his mission this time? He, he took you there with him. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> oh. He targeted when I was away. I'm calling the police. I gave my consent. You gave your consent? Why are you always giving excuses for a man that destroyed your life? He puts you on this wheelchair. And now, he took away our bundle of joy. No way. He promised to make sure she gets a better education. Then why are you crying? I miss my girl. I miss my baby. I miss her so much. But you gave your consent. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Big man, Mr. Dan. Bro, it's almost 7 a.m. Pick your call. <sighs> Mr. Dan, pick your call. Who is that person now this morning? Ah. <sighs> 
Hello. My name is Tony. Um, Tony, Mr. Daniel's friend. Could you please tell him I'm here to see him? It's very urgent. Good morning, sir. Pardon my manners. Good morning. Who are you, by the way? He's made. Oh, okay. Um, I'll go upstairs and knock his door. All right, thank you. Fresh girl like this, made. Now, how for Daniel? Hmm. Sir, you have a visitor. Who is it? It's probably Tony. I have some documents I need to give to him. Let me go. Okay. I know now, but I'm coming, okay? I'll be right back. Hmm? I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh. All right. <sighs> Take this. Give it to him. Tell him I won't be coming to the office today. Okay, sir. Uh, uh, good morning, Ma. Who is that idiot? How was your night, ma? We should go and make breakfast for the girls. Okay, ma. Get out! He said that he will see you at the office later because he's not feeling well. Oh, okay. Thanks. Alright. Um, there's something about you, but I can't point it out exactly. Anyway, thanks. Alright, no problems. She has a bit of Daniel in her. Hmm. I hope this is not Amaka's daughter, the one she had with Daniel. She looks exactly like Daniel. There is something about him, okay? And my father. Tell him I'll see him later at the office. I'm not feeling too well. Bad man. And his wife. Huh. Go and prepare breakfast for the girls. Me, am I not a girl? Miguel. Maid! Maid! Where is she? Is she trying to make a fool out of me? 
You are deaf and dumb and stupid at the same time. Or you are just wicked and trying to dare me. My name is not maid. My name is Chidera. Maybe you just shut up. You are the maid and you continue to remain the maid. So far you stay here. Look, my shoes are inside. I need them polished. Make sure they are done nicely before I finish my breakfast. You are still sitting down. Maybe you get up and go and do, do what I told you. Make sure they are done nicely. Try me, try me. I was Everything beautiful, So I'm just going to drop off the kids in school. Okay. Huh. All right. I just um, I have to finish this, so I don't have much to do when I get to the office. Okay. Okay. I'll just ask the maid to get your food. Okay. Her name is Chidera. She is not a maid. Excuse you. Never mind. I have a nice day at work. I thought as much. All right. You too. Bye. is not a maid. Yes, we are done. Except for Riley's shoe. What happened to Riley's shoe? It's not this maid that I, I, I told to polish it for me. Ma, she slapped And I will slap you again. Why do you think you have to report me to my mother? Listen, this is my father's house. And there's nothing you will say that will make them chase me away. Rather, it is you that's going to leave at the end of the day. Riley, calm down. Do you want her to die in your hands? Dim is actually right. You need to calm down when you're dealing with this girl because this girl is clearly not alive. If you touch her one hand now, she will just die. So let's calm down. Don't worry, I will deal with her later when we go and come back. If you girls are done here, well, don't mind her. Don't, don't touch her. Don't touch her. You get out. Get out! He threatened me. Then he sent me a test that if I don't allow children to live with him, he was going to sue me. <laughs> He's mad. Yeah? You know what? Let him get prepared. He should be ready to sue us. Eh? Because if he doesn't take us to the court, <laughs> then shame on him. Anyway, don't even worry yourself. I know what to do. What is wrong with these kids? Why, why, why would they mess this place up like this?
I'm so sorry about everything. Please forgive me. I promise I will make everything right. Okay? Just give me time. Okay? Look, sometimes it pays to mind your business, okay? Chidera is my daughter, and I want the best, and only the best for her. Do you understand? Oh, by making her your maid. She is not my maid. She is my daughter, and she is here for a better life. <laughs> Let me ask you one good question. Huh? Have you told your daughter and your wife who Chidera is to you? Today, today is Monday. Today is Monday. Have you taken her to school to enroll her? Uche! Uche. Like I said, mind your business. No one gets a solitary fuck about your opinion. Do you understand? <laughs> You're so lucky. Now listen to me, you scumbag. I am going to press charges against you for battering and kidnapping. <laughs> You're just an unserious person. Please, I don't mean true. Please. Mm, madam, 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 I beg. Don't do. Eh? This same man is the person that puts you in this condition and you're telling me you don't want a problem with him. Huh? What is it? Okay. I know what to do. So you cannot see me. I've become so invisible that you cannot see me. Are you? Am I not talking to you? Sorry, mom. Sorry for yourself. You're here singing, they call you mumu because you're a mumu indeed. You're a fool. So since morning, this is what you're still doing. Is it not what you're still doing here? Sorry, sorry for yourself. Stop telling me sorry. Better hurry up with this thing and come to my room. Remove, remove that in your way. Remove it and sweep that in your way. You see all these clothes that I gathered here? I want you to wash, dry, and iron all of it. What did I say? Wash, dry, and iron. Say it louder! Wash, dry and iron all of it. Man. Good. And before you wash this, go to my children's room. All their dirty clothes, all the dirty duvets, everything dirty in their room. Pack it and wash it and clean it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. I wish them. Pack it! Why is she a woman? Why is she a Yes. Come, 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 come. Are you stupid? Answer me. Ma. Record us. 
Mm, yes, go, go and record us. Hope you know how to record. Oh, yes. Are you sure? Um, shirts. Where's your shirt? Uh, yes, where is your shirt from? My shirt's from Kwebu. Who bought that one for you? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell My us mother more. bought the skirt for me. Uh -huh. My slipper is from somewhere. Yeah, we don't know where that one. But same thing for me. Look at Where's our hair. Where's your shirt from? I, I don't know. Same thing with you. Yeah. <laughs> Let okay. me see. Look at our hair. I'm sorry. Are you mad? Ah, what nonsense is this? It's our fault. We gave somebody who doesn't have an Android phone, let alone an iPhone. We we, 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 we we weren't taking the risk. See, you know there are some poor smart children. I was thinking she's part of them, but I'm wrong. Let me see. That pregnant lady. I don't know. Was I talking to you? Sorry. You cannot greet. Where is Daniel? I want to see Daniel. Where is Daniel? Ma, I think he should be inside. Let's go. So I told you to bunk you. Don't carry me on. Don't carry me. Don't carry me. Don't carry me. Don't wait, wait, wait. Ah, you girls badged him again. Next time, I'm going, to, I'm going to punish you. Um, but this is an emergency. Okay, what is the emergency? You know you're not supposed to badge into my room. A pregnant woman is waiting to see you. A pregnant woman. A pregnant woman. Okay, let me let me check out. I'm coming to you. Don't buy into the room next time. Since you don't have the Give a stranger water in my house. Are you crazy? Hey, 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 hey! hey, 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 hey. You hey. see the next time, eh, the next time you give a stranger water in my house, time my permission, I will chop off your leg. Hey! What is uh, uh, Who are you? What is? Going what on? are you? What are you doing in my house? Who are you? Eh, eh, Daniel, I don't know who this is. But please tell her to mind the way she talks to me. Can hey. she not see my condition? Titi, calm. Okay, can everybody calm down? Titi, this is my wife, Asa. Mm -hmm. I am his wife. Who are you? I don't think I know what is going on here, but le uh, let me cut on you. Uh, Chidora. I don't understand. What does Tony have to do with this? What does Tony have to do with this? Hey, um, look, she's she's here for Tony, okay? Not for me. Alright, just go upstairs and let me just, you know, talk to her and Tony and we'll sort this out. Okay? Hey, I don't want to go upstairs, I want to stay hey, here. Please. How can I leave you with, with a pregnant one? Tony is pregnant woman. Why would you talk to my wife like that? She wants to put me in trouble. Why would she not have respect? 
We are going to watch a movie today. Yes, yes. You like it, right? Yes. It's my turn to make a selection to do. Mm. But you're going to watch what I pick. Fine. Even though it's my turn, I'll still let you. Good. So go to your room and change, okay? okay. Hurry! <laughs> Meanwhile, I came for you. That's not possible. You can't come for me. What are you coming to see me for? I don't know you. I only know you through Tonya. So if you have anything you want to say, which I don't even know what it is, Tonya has to be present. This is what I have to say. Isn't it quite obvious? It is quite yes. obvious. And I... What do I have to do? Yes, you get it. Let Tonya go. Um, okay. Well, I will wait for Tonya. So call him. He's not picking my call. Perhaps he may pick yours. Call him. Please, you people are stressing me in this house already. Alright, alright. My phone is upstairs. Okay. Tonya, where the hell are you? Where, the, where, where, where are you? Just hurry up and come. My, my house is on fire. Hurry up. Hurry. Hurry. The, Fuck up! Oh God, what, what, what kind of problem is this now? Um, so I'm going out and I like homemade pizza, so make sure it's ready before nine. I, I can't make pizza, ma. Eh? Um, what did you say? Repeat it. I said I can't make pizza, ma. You're a very stupid girl. Is it that you won't make it or you don't know how to make it? All of the above, ma. You better listen to me. It better be ready before we return home. If not, we'll see whose father owns this house. Interesting, ma. Eh? Um, say, say that again. It was a slip of tongue, ma. It's your father's house, ma. Your father. Stupid girl. Oh, power couple. Baby mama's got nothing on you. Slay. <laughs> hmm. Um, mom? Oh, oh my god, my hair is so. I'm ready. Okay, yeah. Um. Honey? Yes. We'll continue when I return, okay? Okay. <laughs> last one, last one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, as for you, you better behave yourself. Let's go. Let's go. Just buy the pizza. But no, she wants me to make it from scratch. She likes homemade pizza. Because I'm chef Dami Abi Abi Hilda Basi. Hi, hello, Kutoye. Hello, girls. We're going to the movie. Do you want to come with us? Um, I really would have loved to come, but your dad and I have something important to talk about, so I guess we'll do that some other time. Okay. Mm. This thing that you will have to talk about, I hope that it includes removing that one from my living room. Hello, Asama. Hello to you too. Let's go. Bye-bye. All right, bye. bye. I'll see you some other time. It took you long enough. So, guy, Titi here is saying she's pregnant. Titi here is saying she's pregnant. Like, this is not obvious enough. Okay, fine. We had a thing. Yes. You're pregnant. Agree. But what are you doing here? Yes, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Hmm? I also had a thing with him on the same bed. 
Wait a minute. What? Dan. What did I just hear? Because I'm keeping quiet. Well, you had sex with somebody on my matrimonial bed. That's what you did. Dan, I should be the one mad here. How dare you sleep with my guest? How dare you? How dare I sleep with your guest? You heard me. Um, since you people are not going to fight, let me just save you all the drama. Uh, we all know what happened. I am pregnant. And you two are the prime suspects. So until this child... Why are you pointing at him? You also did something. Until this child is born, and we run a DNA test to determine who the real father is, I go nowhere. Titi, as a matter of fact, we don't need a DNA test, okay? He did it first, all right? He did Dan. it first. Oh, obvious, you're stressing you're stress. my brain. You're stressing now, my it's brain. It's very obvious you're mad. Please, just show me where I rest my head, because you're stressing me don't already. Don't be telling me that. You did it first. And what makes you think he's the first person that scores? What oh, makes you think? Oh, where's that nice girl in this house? What's her name? M M M. Dara! Wow. 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 How are you even sure it's, it's either of us that have the child? Are you? Uh, and you, you, you did first. You don't you did stop. Do not talk to me, please. Don't. Me, I, I know how I did my own. Hey, 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 what are you staring at? That, 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 that is Amaka's daughter. That is also my daughter, okay? No, we don't go see you, woman, come on, I. Hey, 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 Oluwao. Now, Titi is going to have to stay here forever. And not just that. You have to take 100% care of her. Else, I'll let Asa know that your supposed niece is actually your daughter. And I guess you know what that means. Who's going to talk about that? Bro, you go back to the street where you belong. No, because no. of course, you know, you know she's the heir you bring. No, which, which can talk with that? Wait, thing, I mean, you don't you understand? If you want Chris, you don't go start for man. You like say bomb day. Okay, you open eye like vulture. The guy will bust your head in the man. Chris. You carry your daughter key for her, send her your niece. Don't take care of Titi now. Come off now. Don't take care of her now. Change up for you. Carry your daughter, 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 Are you scared? N not really. I wasn't expecting anyone here. I, I didn't know you would come back here. Um, I prepared something for you to eat. You did? Yes, ma'am. Hi. Thank you. Where is it? Um, it's downstairs, ma'am. Okay, I, I need to come down. Okay, yeah, let's go. Still here, and I don't plan to leave anytime soon. 
Hmm. Um, maid. Why is the pizza I said you prepare for me? Ah. Madam, I told you I don't know how to make pizza. Besides, the ingredients for it was not in the kitchen. Shut up your mouth! Hey! Why did you not tell me that you cannot prepare it? Or why did you not tell me that the ingredients, there, there were no ingredients for it? Eh? You see, the next time that he tells you to do anything for them and you refuse, I will behead you. You will do no such thing. This will be the last time you will ever lay your hands on her. What is wrong with you? In my own house. You have the mouth to talk in my own house, have you? Who do you think you are? Don't allow me to show you the other side of me. Mm. How can you be that wicked? The innocent, innocent girl. Shut up your mouth, please. Better mind your business in this house. Mind your business. Don't tell me what to do in my own house. Don't tell me how to handle my maid. I don't, I don't even have your time. When I have your time, I will come back for you and face you. Come back. Come and face me. See, no, come and face see, me. See, see. Girls, please, let's go upstairs. Don't mind this rubbish, you man. You are looking for who will kill you. You know, innocent girl. And they will say, it's that that killed you. You're such an evil person. You too. You are evil. Evil for coming into my house and eating my food with your big, smelly mouth. Rubbish. I don't even have your time. Don't worry. I'll still come back for you. Come back for who? Come back for who? Respect yourself. Respect yourself, this woman. You are looking for food, kid. It's not your key. So, so, you want to face me? Thank you. Nonsense. Demon. Demon incarnate. They will not do anything. They will do, they will dare no such thing. I'm here for you. I will fight for you. Go and bring your food. Let's eat together. What what rubbish? I know how this is, but I need you to calm down. Please calm down. Why, why, why are you telling me to calm down? How can Tonya bring his pregnant lover to come and stay with us? How does that even make sense? Because he doesn't want Joel to find out about it. And presently he cannot get rid of her, at least not so fast. Do you realize that Joel is also our friend? How are we supposed to hide this away from her? Asa, it is not our place to inform Joel about Tony's girlfriend's pregnancy, okay? And I'm sure this is a mistake that he will leave to regret for the rest of his life. What mistake? He slept with a woman without protection and got her pregnant and for, for some reason you're, you're calling it a mistake. When will you men stop vilifying women? Asa, I do not intend to go into a war of words with you, okay? Anything you say, you're right, all right? Please, let's not start. It's not like I was starting anything. I was just airing my mind. So you're sure you were not starting anything? I was not starting anything. my boss to you and who got you pregnant? Mm, let's just say um, I'm pregnant and I don't know who the father of my unborn child is. I'm yet to figure that out. Does that mean that you are a call girl? Why would you ask such question? Oh, my mom told me that any woman that follows different men around is a call girl. So that's why I said that. Well, your mom is not wrong. Any girl who intentionally gets involved with more than one man for pleasure or financial purpose is a call girl or whatever you call it. But in my own case, I've always been a decent girl. 
I've always been a one man kind of girl until this incident. Can you tell me about it? So guys, um, welcome to my house. Uh, make yourselves comfortable and make yourselves feel at home. Yeah, a lovely place. Thank you. Lovely mm. man. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, thank yeah. You. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Madam Asa, Tony is here and I'm hungry. My brother, don't waste your energy. My wife and kids travel to Dubai for summer shopping. So it's just me in this house. Oshie, rich man in law. You can say that again. Rich man in law. So, what about the lunch you promised us, sir? Well, Titi, with due respect, you're a lady, right? So you should be the one to go into the kitchen and make us something to eat. How about that? Make us something to eat? Mm -hmm. If I'm going into that kitchen, I'm only making something for myself. Mm. Mm. Well, you can only threaten Dan when it comes to food. Because me, I could perform. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I see. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys, I have to take this. Uh, <clears throat> hello? Oh, yeah? Okay, um, let's say I'll, I'll be there soon, shortly. All right, thank you. Whew. Guys, I quickly have to step out. But I'll be back in 40 minutes to an hour. Save me a plate, okay? Take your time. I'm mm. sure by the time you're back, your master chef would have finished cooking. Well, how about <laughs> you go into the kitchen and begin to chop off the ingredients? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be a lady. I'm not going to stress myself. Oh, anyway, I would leave you two lovebirds <laughs> and I will be out of the house. My G! I'll be back soon, okay? My G! Keep your hands to yourself. I'm going to get out. Oh, no. I'm going to get out. So, are you going to the kitchen or should I go and do my magic? After making out. Should I go and do my magic? After bragging. Please go and do your magic. I'm just going to sit here and feel like a lady. Wait till I get you. I can see it already. <laughs> you know, this kitchen is good too. Let me marry you. You say what? Please. <laughs> well. That would have been nice. But the manager said, members of staff can't date each other. I don't want problem. Mm -hmm. But we're not in the office and it's just the both of us. In this whole house. So, Toya, don't start what you can't finish. Mm. Let me shock you. I always finish what I start. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, my oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! Stop me! You're a good cook. Then I hope you'll drop me off. Mm. Not really. But I'll take you to where you pick a car because the road to your area is far from mine. Why not? Well, <clears throat> where do you live again? I know the area, but I don't know the house. Because I'm actually going that way too. Yes, I want to go check out a few of my properties. For real? Mm hmm. So you drop me off. Why not? Oh, thank you so much. See, that makes Go it away. <laughs> but seriously, I'm telling you, if you're looking for a wife, I think at this point you should stop searching because you just found a wife. So what are you now? A hmm? matchmaker? No, brother. Who oh, married this one? Ah, no, I don't get to. I don't understand. <laughs> ah, 
But he did cook, shall we? You understand? I don't go lie. Mm. <laughs> but he don't cook past me. Oh, please. Ah. You, like, you they like me because they cost all the time. Mm. You, they, you they sweet too. Mm. As well. Done. Danny! Mr. Daniel! I need to go, it's getting late. Mr. Daniel! Come in. Um, it's getting late. You what? You like what you see? Um, yeah. You look so hot. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is not right. It's not right? I usually don't give a fuck. But I want to give you this fuck. <sighs> it's getting late. Let me drop you off. Technically, I was carried away on that day and I forgot to protect myself. It happened with this same man, two men, same bed, same time. That's why I don't know who the father is. I wish my dad is the father. Your dad? Oh, sorry, I meant my ogre. Why would you wish that? I don't know. I just wish the baby will be his own because scientifically, the baby must belong to one of them. Well, yes, you're very correct. The baby belongs to one of them. But for now, the two of them will take care of my existence until this baby is born. I'm going nowhere. You're welcome, ma. And the drama continues. What is it? I'm yet to ask you one very simple question. Tell me the truth. Why exactly are you here? What are you doing in my house? Um, madam. If truly Tonya is your friend, you will allow me to stay here. Let me just take some time and sort things out. Huh? What are you sorting out? Eh? Am I the one who told you to go and sleep with a man without protection? Eh? Uh -huh. Was I there when you two were doing it? Why would you say such a thing? I'm sure you will not understand, even if I start to tell you the story from now. But if I'm pissing you off so badly, you can go ahead and, and, and chase me out. But be rest assured that your friend, Tonya, will suffer for it. And it will in turn affect your husband. Affect my own husband? What is his business in all of this? But you know, he's such a wonderful man. You're lucky to be married to a man like that. Mm -hmm. 
so you are a maid. Hmm. If only they knew that I am the real Ada of this family. Hmm. Please don't let them know. Why? What is her right? What if they hurt her? Mom, they've already done everything to me. At this point, one would even say that I am dead inside. <gasps> See, my love, listen to me. I know you <sighs> to take care of yourself. You're real. Listen. Our hands are not tied. Yes. We will surely come for you. Yes. <laughs> All right, Auntie Uchi. Good night. Take care of yourself. Ah, uh, Mom, please stop crying. I miss you, my baby. I miss you. Good night, my love. Ah, Daniel, why? Daniel, what have you done? What have you done, my daughter? I too. Why? But this is not fair. Oh. Just look at how her small is talking like a grown woman. In just a few weeks, they have turned her into something else. Imagine being maltreated by oh, oh. God. Daniel. Daniel, why? It's okay. Why in the way are you being? If I could go back in time, 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 I hope that pregnant lady is not your wife. No, she's not. She's a friend and a colleague and I'm concerned about her upkeep. That's why I'm here. Okay, okay. Oh. Sorry, you're here. Asa, good morning. Good morning. Uh -uh. You girls are still here. Go inside and go and get ready for school. Okay. And, um... I'd have to call you later because I need us to discuss this. Okay, but if it's about it, if she's living today. Mm. Yes. She's living today? Yes, she is. You're very sure? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yes, what is it? Titi. You need to leave this place here. You have to go back to your house today. For crying out loud, this is dance matrimony at home. You can't keep staying here. You're going back to your house today. Going back to which house? The same house you're quite aware that my cousin found out I was pregnant and chased me out of her house. Which was why I came here in the first place. You want me to go back? Living here will mean bouncing back on the street and I'm not ready to do that. Unless, of course, you want me to move in with you, which I'll gladly do because I'm even tired of this place. It's obvious you're mad. You are mad. It is you that is mad. This your useless thing is mad. Titi, go in there, pack your things, and meet me in the car now. If you don't, I'm going to tell Asa to kick you out of this house. And I'm going to do it. You will do no such thing. D don't provoke me. Don't, don't even try it. Titi, I'm waiting for you in the car. I'm waiting for you to come. Don't keep me waiting. You need to bring her back here. She's my child. Butcher, she's my child, and I want her to live with me. As a maid. Daniel! You want your own daughter, your blood, to work for others as a maid in your house. What is all this now? What are we going to call this one? Amaka, I know how this sounds, okay? But it is complicated, okay? I will explain everything to you in time. Just give me time. Oh. <laughs> fine, you need time. That's fine. But if by weekend you did not bring her back here, 
<laughs> Get ready you, because I will give you lots of problems. And I pray you can carry them. This is the part I don't like. Fight! I don't like it. Hey, hey. Nobody's fighting. Okay? She's just angry, but I'll, I'll give her a call later, okay? Please do. That sounds better. How are you doing? I'm fine. I know you are. You look beautiful anytime you're angry. There she goes. I'll, I'll take that as a compliment. Oh yeah, it is a compliment. So let me ask you, <clears throat> who has been? <laughs> Hell no, you're not serious, right? I am serious. Okay. Mm. Who else? Mm. What's that? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it's me, Joe. After all this time, she allowed him in again. Ha! Ah, remain. Hmm. You weren't lying after all. Mm. Mm. I could scare it into my clothes. Running from my past and now they're closing in on me Everything beautiful I wasted, wasted, wasted How about you hold me back and Yes, who did you say you are? She's I said you should get out! She's going nowhere. Excuse me. Yes, she is the reason I came. I'm telling my maid to get out and you're telling her to stay. Who are you? I am not a maid. Really? Yes. This is my father's house. And I am tired of pretending. Yes. Daniel is her biological father. She came picking her up, promising to put her into a better school. But rather, you turned her into a maid. She's living with me. If everything you, you both just said is the truth, then nobody is leaving here until Daniel returns. Why? I don't know what they've told you, but to add to it, Chidera is my daughter. Oh yes, she's my daughter. She's my biological daughter. You see, when Riley needed blood transfusion, <clears throat> I couldn't donate. So I did a test and I found out that she's not my biological daughter. Same as Dim. You know, I know that you've been sleeping with other men. And this man happened to be the father of those two kids. I was heartbroken when I found out. And I needed a child to call my own. I needed somebody to call me father. And I was actually their father. And so I brought Chidera to the house in disguise of being my niece. But you, in all your glory and all your wickedness, turned her into a maid. So I ask you a question. Are you not ashamed? Talk to me. 
What exactly were you expecting? From this whole marriage then? You thought it was going to be in your palms, right? You know, <laughs> when I found out that you abandoned your ex-love, Amaka, a girl whom you had an accident with, a, an accident which consigned her to a wheelchair, and you even left her with a child, I decided that I was never going to take you seriously. You think? I don't know that this thing does not work anymore. You're sterile, Daniel. Or does it work? Yes, I had an affair. I had an affair with other men because I wanted my own children. And that's because I never loved you. And I still don't love you. What were you expecting? That you were going to eat your cake and have it? <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm actually tired of this whole thing. So we're going to do something. Pick this thing that you call a daughter of. And this other thing, and get out of my house. You know, I was actually done with this prison called the marriage. Anyway. Get out of my house! Have a good life. You have a bad life. If this is what they mean by one big happy family, then I do not wish this for my enemy. My dad's wife stripped him of everything after all he was working on in her father's bank. What I am saying is that my papa no get shishi, but to God be the glory, I have my father with me. One thing we must learn is that secrets don't last forever. Be honest always. Go back in 